Welcome back, YouTubers, DIYers, and subscribers. Let's look at my fridges, my fridge setup. So this, this is my 15,000 Rand 86 liter dual fridge compartment fridge. I use this for long trips. I have got this. This is a nice setup for the long trips, but this is not what this channel is about. We helping you to change this. This is a 2000 Rand fridge that you can buy at any outlet, anywhere where that sells fridges. We're gonna change this into this. So this is my budget setup camping fridge. It's one of these fridges that's converted to this. So let me show you how it works. Let's look in depth of what we did here. This is the same as the upright little bar fridge that you can buy in the stores. What we did here is we took the motor here and we turned it horizontal. So basically, while you putting down this fridge or tilting it over, you're swiveling this motor so the motor doesn't swivel, swivel with the fridge. This motor needs to stay upright. In a later video, we'll show you exactly how these motors work, what it looks like inside. We're gonna cut one open and show you. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how this works. Then what, what, what I've done is I've got a 220 outlet. So these fridges come standard with 220 volt. What I've done is I bought myself a cheap little inverter and built the inverter in right behind this motor. So there's an inverter behind this motor giving me about a thousand watts of peak power. Um, that means that the nominal output on this inverter should be around 600 watts nominal output, which means you, you can't use something smaller than that because this motor, when it kicks in, it uses quite a lot of energy to get the motor going and that energy needs to come from your inverter. Then what I've done is you get a 12 volt cable, you run the cable to your inverter, then your 220 plug plugs into your inverter. I put an external plug in here just to get it to your inverter, the power. And your 12 volt system then goes into your deal battery or your camping trailer or whatever you want to plug this into that gives you 12 volt making sure these cables are proper cables as well. If you use too thin cables here, your inverter won't pull this fridge. Um, power consumption, it's roughly the same as my 86 liters using. This is 110 liter. There is differences. We're gonna show you the differences. But the biggest difference is this one costs 2,000 Rand and that one costs 15. So we're going to show you later on how this works. What's the negative, what's the positive uh, input I have on this, how it works, and we'll just take it from there. How this fridge came to mind is about 12 years ago, we had to go on a trip. I didn't have the funds to fund myself a nice brand new luxury fridge. So I had to do something to get food cold and it came from that idea to change my bar fridge into this. So this fridge is now roughly about 12 years old. Shaking in the car, it's done trips to Mozambique, Namibia, Botswana, all those places I took it with. This thing has been sufficient. Handling all my food, a little bit of meat. It, it does take less meat than the big fridges, but it, it does what it needs to do. I think on the price point, having this and that, this might be my better option than having a nice big fridge. Also weight-wise, this little bar fridge is roughly a third of the weight of what these stainless steel fridges are. And then you don't feel sorry for this. So if this bumps and scratches, you're not crying afterwards.
if you want to see more of this, how we converted it, like and subscribe this video, follow us, put that notification bell on and see how this comes out at the end of the day, how to do your own as this.